Hello again, everybody. Steve Bell getting you ready. It's the Spitfires and the top team in the entire OHL, the fourth-ranked team in the country. The Ottawa 67s in here tonight talking for just a couple of moments, and thanks so much for joining us, not only on AM 800, but also on all the various uh, media platforms with the Spitfires, the uh, Facebook Live, the website, and uh, all the other uh, avenues to check it out. Here with uh, assistant coach Michael Layton. Uh, Michael, a little bit different role for you uh, a couple of days, number one. I think everybody's likely heard the word that Andy Dell Moore had an incident here a couple of days ago on the ice. He's in good care with the uh, with the doctors, um, and and we all wish Andy uh, uh, the very best because uh, number one, you can't beat you know, health. It's what we really have to look after. Yeah, for sure. Anything, anytime something like that happens, it's uh, unfortunate, and uh, we're uh, obviously we're all praying for Delhi to get better, and uh, hopefully we'll see him back on the bench, and uh, and I go back up to the press box. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's where all the hard work gets done. Uh, you're the goaltending coach, former Spit. I think everybody obviously knows Michael, former uh, Spitfire, former NHLer. Uh, how much uh, different is it for you? I know it's been a couple of times now that you've had to step in and go behind the bench as opposed to being up in the press box watching. Well, it's definitely different. Uh, press box. I just got a video in front of me and uh, just kind of analyzing goalies. Where this, uh, I feel like I'm more part of the team and. I get to throw my two cents in once in a while. I'm obviously, I'm, I'm not going to be uh, telling these kids to do too much because, uh, you know, I never played that position. But, uh, you know, just from playing hockey for so long, I, I spent a lot of time on the bench backing up uh, as a goalie. So I enjoy being on the bench and, and being part of the team and being around the guys and stuff. So it's a different role, but I, I'm enjoying it. And does your role change a little bit? I know Andy kind of looked after the defense a lot. Uh, Jared Smith has other responsibilities. Uh, how does the whole dynamics kind of change uh, with, with Andy Delmore not being here? Uh, it's not going to change too much. I think uh, uh, Savvy and Juggy are really going to you know, take the positions, and I just kind of just float around and, and talk to guys here and there, and if they ask me to do something. And so I, I'm not do, like I said, I'm not doing too much. It's more or less just pres presence on the bench and uh, giving my two cents. As a goaltender, former goaltender, is it kind of like a catcher in baseball? A lot of times they say they make the best analysts, some of the best coaches and whatnot, because you're back there. You see the game from a different perspective. Yeah, for sure. I, I, I think I obviously uh, connect more with the defense just because uh, I had to work with them a lot being a goaltender. So some things that they do and, and handles with the goalie and stuff. So little things like that I can pick out and definitely uh, – you know, put my two cents in with them. And the game's changed so much. Back in the day, I always say, you know, a big, tough defenseman, there's guys standing in front of the net. Hey, you cross-check them, you flatten them, you get them. Now you're in the penalty box. It's so much as positioning, and as you guys always say, having a good stick. Young Anthony Cristofaro's uh, really ahead of the curve there. Oh, for sure. And, that, and that, that's, you know, me being a goalie, it's tough for me to tell a guy like that to, to do certain things. And these kids are so creative now and, and skilled that, you know, I, I, my advice would be to, to shoot it off the glass like it was 20 years ago, right? But uh, these kids are, are great, and they got a lot of skill, and, and uh, now you just have to let them make plays, and they do, and they're, they're, they're getting even better at it, and, and Christopher Orwell's definitely got a bright future. Um, for somebody that spent basically your entire life in the game, uh, how nice is it to come back here? I know you're originally a Sarnia guy, but you were a Spitfire through and through, and be a part of the hockey club. Oh, it's a great organization. I've, I've known that, you know, ever since I got here, and uh, I know a lot of kids that have came through here and a lot of people that still work here like yourself and, <laughs> and it's just good to come back and see you know Bill Bowler and and Juggy and Deli and, and and even when I was playing I came back and skated with them and they let me come on the ice and work with the kids and stuff so uh, it's just been a great experience and um, you know, the organization's been great to me, and it's great to be a part of it now. And finally, I know I have a granddaughter in hockey, played with your daughter uh, last year uh, uh, with the Windsor Wildcats organization. I know as a parent or even a grandparent, that keeps you real busy with kids in minor hockey. It is, yeah. And that's why I've kind of only been part-time with the team. Uh, I got three kids all, all involved in hockey and, and dance and other things going on. So uh, I definitely retired from hockey to be a part of their lives, and I'm getting that uh, the chance to do that, but I also want to stay in, in the game, and I'm enjoying my role here, but obviously getting my family time in. Hey, Michael, thanks again for your time. Really appreciate it. Uh, Spitfire assistant coach, goaltending coach Michael Layton, and thanks for following us uh, through all the various platforms of the Windsor Spitfires and on the website and right here on AM 800.